bad friends. Um, we are now live and so we're going to a feed all of my tarantulas that are on locusts. Um, and the first one we're going to feed is Trisha. Trisha! This is Trisha. You won't love seeing her much because she is a pet hole, but she's actually out and about right now. She is a Cleto cattle. I'll be Pelosum for my Brachypelma. True form. True form. Um, her locust's over there. Um, there was one locust when I was... I'm going to have to get up. Uh, when this this is so gone gone wrong, so gone wrong. Um, when I was emptying out the locusts into the locust tub, there was one left over that hadn't quite got out of the tub, and I was like, "Oh my god, that is the perfect size locust for Trisha." So I left it in. Um, we still only got them the other day. Where is it? It's in here somewhere. Um, ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, so this is the perfect size locust for... Sorry, Opal. Um, for Trisha. Is that that? Uh, let's... Let's give you this locust. You didn't want to come out of your little box, locusty locust? Nope, but you're going to get fed anyway to the tarantula. Oh, yes. Hello. I have very little doubt that um, we will see anything interesting. Sorry, very little expectation that we will see anything interesting. But you never know. You never know. Again, when I was out with the appropriate sized food, I offered Trisha. Not interested at all. I offered Trisha a larger locust that I'd pre-killed. No, no joy. No joy at all. But uh, there's that little locust in there. And Trisha, mm -mm, not interested. What I've noticed with curly hairs, um, having had like several, is that they like are very picky eaters. Um, either will or they won't um, and I have left food in with them but like it tends to be if they don't take it straight away they're probably not going to take it um, but what I've tend to notice is when they're younger they like to bury themselves a lot more as they get older they go out and about so um, now I need a smaller locust we're going to attempt Debbie Harry I think Debbie Harry is in Bremalt this is my hand Nahandu Tripper Pete Debbie Harry, Brazilian giant blondie. There she is in the base. I'm sorry there's a lot of reflection. I'm not sure how to deal with that, but we can but learn as we go on. I'm pretty sure she's not going to take it because I think she's in pre malt, but we will see. I still want to offer her the food because um, sometimes they will take it when they're in pre malt. Um, So I still want to offer her it, and if she doesn't eat it, we will try it on a different tarantula. Okay, Debbie. Debbie, Debbie. Debbie, Harry. Are you going to eat this locust? Have a leg. Right, okay. Debbie. Are you interested in this locust? Debbie? Do you want to eat this little locust? It's right there. Right there behind you. Are you gonna... No. No, I don't think she's going to. No, in fact, she's, she's leaving it. Leaving it behind. Um, I will leave it in there. Because it's gone underneath the cock back and Debbie, oh no, it's just come out. It's just come out. Debbie, you're not interested in this. I know. 
so it will take you out and I will feed you to someone else. Don't worry, little locust. It's still your duty to get eaten. We'll try him on Opal, which I also think is in pre mold. So, you know, you never know. Might get moved to a different... Why I'm doing this with, like, tools instead of my hand is because I've had my nails done. And I've managed to keep my manicure. And I don't want to lose my manicure. Prying open the lids of tarantula enclosures. So we shall do the same thing. How is Opal... Opal is my Femictopus. No, my Pamphobetus is Um, Go, 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 Locust, go. Um, and she is normally pretty good eater when she's hungry. When she's hungry being the key. No, 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 no. No, it doesn't want it. Yes, yes, kick hairs at the Locust. Yeah, oh. I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to do this for my benefit rather than yours. Yes, keep you keep kicking hairs at that locust opal. Yes, you are a good girl. I don't know if she's a girl. Okay. You will get eaten, locust, I promise. I promise you'll get eaten. Let's try Daisy. Daisy is one of my Acanthoscuria geniticulatus. I have two. She's a confirmed female. And is she interested in a locust? Undecided, undecided. Okay, don't you stress about that. I'm sorry, Opal, let me fix that. She's looking at me. She's not happy. I accidentally took the cock back over. I'm sorry, I will fix that. Probably a mistake doing it with my hand, but it was easier than using the tweezers. And is that wobbling now? No, I look, I fixed the wobble problem. She'd like dug underneath the cork bark, and so she was causing it to like rock. Because she's stupid. Right. Daisy, not interested. She did shed recently, but her fangs have hardened. Um. Carmen, my other Acanthoscuria geniticulata, had uh, some new cork bark in, and what did she do? She climbs on the side of the enclosure, of course. Normally, she's a great eater unless she is in pre malt, and even then, she still. Don't you dare. Even then, she'll still eat most of the time. Don't worry, little locust, you will be eaten. You'll be eaten. Carmen very rarely lets me down. Locusts look evil. Just, just saying, they do look evil. Carmen, look what the mummy has for you. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, she wanted that. She took hold of the tweezers and everything. Oh, oh, is that nummy? Is that nummy? Oh, yes. Yeah, she's liking that. Oh. Thank you, Carmen, for being the one tarantula from my entire collection. Literally the last tarantula in my entire collection. But being the only one to eat something, and it wasn't on video, but there you go. She's, oh, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. You really like them locusts, don't you? Yes. Um, do not expect anything here because he's inside his enclosure, but we'll try it with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, my Asian forest scorpion. Dwayne, Dwayne, Dwayne. Shall we, shall we tempt you with a locust? Shall we tempt you with a locust? I 
offered him dubious. Mm -mm. Not interested. So let's see how he is with a locust. And I'm afraid you're not going to see anything. Anyway, even if there's something to see, but... Yeah, no, it's just done his usual thing of... He's sat in his little hide, which is a pencil pot. <laughs> he's sat in his little hide, and he's like, Oh, hello, locust. Welcome to my home. I might eat you at some point, but then again, probably not. So, yeah, that's how Dwayne sounds in my head. Yeah, the locust is just... It's actually sitting on top of him. So, out of my entire invert collection, only one of them ate, and that was Carmen. It was flippin' lucky that I don't like spicy food, so I couldn't do the hot sauce challenge. I would die. I would actually die. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching this, if you did watch this, because I apologise for the terrible behaviour of my inverts. That's quite unforgivable. Um, they're all going to get packed away now, and it's it's feeding night, so uh, I'm going to feed my danger noodles, uh, if they'll eat. Uh, well, Marshmallow will. Snickerdoodle. Just wants to play. Okay, thanks very much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you again next time.